now a timely teardown. The five and a half month long demolition process here of the IRS facility in Covington began today. The 23 acre site, once home to the city's largest employer, is set to house a mixed use complex. It'll include hotel and office space, apartments, condos, parking garages, plus a plaza and park overlooking the river. Our Evan Millward was there as the city took the first swing at the building. And Evan, I understand some former workers even came out to see this take place. And what's next for the area? Yeah, Craig Jasmine, you can see the ceremonial first cut through the fence out here. That already happened. It's going to take until about the end of September to get this whole building down. The city has put this nice checklist here on the fence outside of it. Once the building is gone, the next step is to get streets, sidewalks, and infrastructure in. You like to think it feels good to do this to an IRS building on tax day. We so much wanted to sell the blows of the sledgehammer to people who wanted to take one out on the IRS. Demolishing this building will open up part of downtown Covington for the first time in about six decades. Mayor Joe Meyer calls it transformational. We've got the convention center here. They, they plan on an expansion. Uh, new hotels are anticipated and as part of the uh, convention center expansion. So, so the parks tying in with the river, reinstating the, the uh, 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 street grid, uh, condominiums, apartments. Yeah, we think it's going to be a really exciting place to live and be. Some former employees came out to watch it go down, like Patty Hoffman, who worked here for more than two decades. I just remember how long the, the hallway was and all the tax returns all up in the hallways. It was neat. This was the busy time of year. Everybody had to be on the fence. You have to answer all those questions. Let's get them done. <laughs> ASAP. Not only did she watch the first swipes, she got a souvenir to take home, and she shares city leaders' optimism. New projects will help Covington grow and develop. And Mayor Meyer tells me once uh, they get all of the utilities in, that'll take about two years. So this new neighborhood can regrow on this site again. We're live in Covington tonight. I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News.